For more on all of this, let's bring in Carolina, South Carolina Congresswoman Nancy Mace. She serves on uh, the Armed Services and House Oversight and Accountability Committees. Uh, do you have anything to tell us about what's in this bill? Uh, by any chance, do you know more than Chad does about what's coming out of the Senate? <laughs> We're waiting on Chad to give us the information and the text of the bill. We don't yet have the text of the bill, but with the rumors we've been hearing is that this will be mass amnesty. 5,000 illegal immigrants a day compared to 10,000 right now. Anything short of shutting down the border, shutting down free hotel rooms, shutting down free credit cards for illegal aliens that are coming into this country, anything short of that is going to have problems in the House. Because I can tell you right now, uh, folks on both sides of the aisle, when I talk to voters and constituents throughout South Carolina, both Democrats and Republicans are frustrated with Joe Biden's posturing on this. They're frustrated with the amount of free money, free education, free health care these illegals are getting. They're being encouraged to come into this country. Americans are angry and by what's happening in this country. They're angry at the Biden administration. Anything shy of shutting it down until we resolve the situation isn't going to pass muster for a lot of America right now. And I'm seeing it on the ground here in South Carolina, and you're hearing about it in sanctuary cities across the country right now. People are angry that Joe Biden has allowed this to happen to our country. And the Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, says that uh, he hasn't even seen any uh, of this bill, that he hasn't been brought in on the negotiations. That doesn't seem like a way to get a bill passed into law. Well, that's the Senate for you. We we have given them HR2. We have given the Senate border security measures. We gave them a homeland security bill with border security in it. We've given them all these things, and yet they want to start from scratch. They want to start with mass amnesty, and that does not work for the vast majority of Americans, regardless if you have an R or a D by your name. And so I hope that Republicans will find a backbone, that we will hold the line and be strong on this, because we know that the majority of our country is with us. There, there doesn't need to be another bill. We need the president to follow the laws on the books. We need the president to go back to Donald Trump's border security policies, continue building the wall, Title 42, remain in Mexico, and tell these people we are not open. There is no other country in the world that has a wide open border like we do. This would not stand in any other nation around the world, but because Joe Biden is in charge, somehow it's okay. It's not okay with the vast majority of Americans. Well, some Democrats are saying that, look, Joe Biden's numbers are terrible on this. The American people, as you have said, don't approve of the job he's doing on the border. And so they blame Republicans such as yourself for trying to stonewall this border be deal, uh, deal because they say that uh, they don't want Joe Biden having a victory ahead of the election. They don't want his border numbers, in other words, to improve. And there, there are the uh, uh, Biden versus Trump issues, uh, the numbers on issues. Border security, Trump gets a 57% positive rating. Joe Biden's is 22%. I know that's a long-winded question, Congresswoman, but maybe you can <laughs> try and pull an answer out for me. Well, well, you know me. I've always called it like I see it, regardless if you're Republican or Democrat or independent. This is not about personality. This is about policy. And our border was more secure with Donald Trump's policies when he was president. And that's what Americans are seeing. Just yesterday, you saw 50 Cent uh, weigh in that maybe Donald Trump is the answer because he's seeing what's going on in New York City. We're seeing what's going on in Chicago. We're seeing what's going on in sanctuary cities around the nation. You just had Mayor Eric Adams in New York uh, put together a massive multi-million dollar deal for illegal immigrants, giving them credit cards and cash in New York City. When they came here, they came here breaking the law. This does not sit well with the vast majority of Americans, which is why I, we're not stonewalling here. I just want the president to follow our laws. In my district, in South Carolina's first congressional district, we have a border training academy here. We are training our border patrol agents. We want them to be safe and secure. We want the president of the United States to put our nation and her citizens first, follow our laws. That is it. That at the very end of the day, that's it. We don't need another bill. We just want Joe Biden to follow the laws. That's what needs to happen here. Does the impeachment effort against the Homeland Security Secretary, does that, do you think, send a message to the White House? Well, absolutely. And he needs to go. He's not been honest with Congress in the hearings and in his testimony. And at the end of the day, someone has to take responsibility for the mess at the southern border. And if Joe Biden won't, then, Senator, then Secretary Mayorkas will have to. Uh, that's what the American people want. That's what they deserve. And that's what we should deliver. 
Congresswoman Nancy Mace, Republican of South Carolina. Congresswoman, thank you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.